race car. I didn't get my race car. Race car. Did you get your race car? Hell no, I didn't get my race car. Race car. Did you get your race car? Homeboy, when you get your race car? Race car. Did you get your race car? White boy, what is a race car? Race car. Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world ain't black and white. Everybody ain't a stereotype. Just because I look wrong, I'm about to do right. You're listening to your worst friend, Shane and Matt. I'm Matt, and I'm joined today by my friend and co-host, a true racial warrior, Shane. Power to the people. <laughs> Why'd you say it like a Martian? I don't know, dude, because I feel like an outsider when I go to those rallies. Like, I don't give a fuck about power or rights. Which rally? I, I think you and I go to different types of rallies. Yeah, dude, I go to the ones with all the fucking afros and the black leather jackets. Oh, they don't got horses at yours? Nah. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Uh, go to yourworstfriend.com. Follow us everywhere on Twitter and Instagram at Worst Friend Cast. Most importantly, go to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Worst Friend Cast. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing the fifth episode, the fifth edition of Black White, the TV show from the early 2000s. It was on FX, produced by Ice Cube. <clears throat> lover uh, of Japanese people. Lover of Japanese people. Not so much the Jews, but... Or the Koreans. Or the Koreans, but Japanese people, yes, for sure. Um, <laughs> if you sign up for our Patreon, patreon.com slash worstfriendcast, you can go back and watch all of our previous episodes. And I believe the first two or three black whites are now only available on the Patreon. So if you want to catch up, uh, go and sign up at patreon.com slash worst friend cast. It only costs a dollar and you get access to everything ever recorded entirely commercial free. Pay a dollar. Uh, black white. Great show. Came out. Only did one season of it. I think it was like 2006 maybe we did it. Um, FX put it out. And basically they took a black family and a white family. And they airbrushed their faces the opposite color and made them <laughs> live in uh, in one house together. Um, and it's like see, the real world. Yeah, yeah. The fucking never mind world. Never mind, I <laughs> said. Uh, you know, and basically what it is is um, they wanted to experience what it was like for the other side. Now, I need you to take your two. 2023 goggles off and put on your 2006 goggles where uh, shit was a lot more outwardly racist and we didn't even realize it yet. Yeah, we were cool with it. Yeah, we were cool with it because, you know, whatever. We hadn't gotten woke yet. Yeah. We were too, in 2006, we were too busy hating Muslims to really <laughs> come back around to the white blood first black. Yeah, we're, we were too busy skateboarding in the ashes of 9 11. <laughs> Do you never saw I think we talked about that you never saw Oliver Stone's uh World Trade Center, right? No. There's this cringy ass moment where at the very end there's this little black girl who's like looking for her dead mom or something. And uh, or maybe she just finds her mom or somebody and she looks and everyone's covered in ash and she goes, "Look, they're all the same color." It's oh, that's like sweet as if 3000 bodies are burning in the right. yeah. bottom of molten steel. So this vicious act of global terrorism brought everyone together because they're all painted like Kratos. <laughs> that's a great assessment. Yeah. Yep. That's what it was. Um, all right. So black, white, these episodes are available on YouTube if you wanted to watch it and check it out. Um, what we're going to be seeing. And uh, if not, just listen and follow along, and it should be a lot of fun. Shane, I have 21 clips for you today. Oh, yeah, I got 21 guns for you. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's start with a recap, though, of everything that happened last time on Black White. Previously on Black White. 
My theory is it starts with personal responsibility. You get out of life what you put into it. They are so aware of the fact that they are black and that they are separate and they are different. You know, so far, I'm kind of waiting for somebody to go, hey, nigger. And I'll but, 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 but it's not going to you know, well, you said. Right. Sitting there and you want to sit on the little lily white pedestal and say shit is not happening in the world. And that's bullshit. I hear you. you, you know, I know it's out there, but I'm right trying to enlighten you on no, the fact no. that you have to approach life in a certain that's way. and not, bullshit. Not We're just trying to help you get the experience, but you won't get it. Let's see what happens. You see that? You see that? I haven't. She looked and ran over. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. You know, yeah, but, and stuff. You know, but I mean, it's the way she did. Even though my poetry class knows that I'm white, they're really psyched for me to come along with them to see things that I wouldn't have been able to see if I wasn't in black makeup. But I'm not going to be with. I'm, I'm serious. I won't do that again. I don't trust her. I really don't like her. After this show, I don't want nothing else to do with Connie. I didn't know not to say that. No, I... So it came out like, yo, bitch. Yeah. I didn't feel like I was part of the group. Mm -hmm. You can't act black. You're all black. Right. There are just some things you can't be a part of. You're not a part of it. Right. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so that's the recap uh, to the people that haven't heard of black white before. Uh, we will be referring to them as black woman, white woman. Now, what's the wait? Sorry. Let me, let me pause well, myself. But we got Bruno. Bruno's got a name. OK, white. So we are referring to them as what their actual skin color is. We don't call not them not their white. paint. Yeah, not their paint, not their fucking paint job. Um, so. Black man, white man, black woman, white woman, uh, white daughter, black son. Well, white girl, black boy. But that became a little racy. So maybe I won't call him boy. To be honest with you, I obviously cut these clips. He's not in this episode. Yeah, well, he's a fucking punk ass bitch most of the time anyway. He's just like using all that newfound white privilege to get pussy. <laughs> He uh he doesn't make an appearance. He does have the most boring storyline in this. It's Maybe he was locked up for half the production <laughs> or something. He's doing a bid right now. Um, all right, first clip. <clears throat> the families bring in a therapist to discuss their current situation as always shane tell me if you'd like me to pause yeah okay i feel like the race of the therapist is going to determine the outcome of the session there you go the families are at odds right now and we we thought it'd be a good idea to bring in a therapist an objective view uh, to come in and see if uh, they can help us work this out are there things that have happened that you've been reluctant to share um, it just gets frustrated sometimes when he think that I see what I see because I want to see it. But I always say, you know, Bruno has this Bruno block. When Bruno has this Bruno block. Um, he sees the world just through Bruno's eyes, Bruno's ways, Bruno's ideas. And that's all that he wants to know. He don't want to know anything else. Um, I do believe that that energy that one puts out, you, you have the world coming back to you in, in what you put out. <laughs> Maybe. Um, for instance, we're walking through Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I just felt that Brian was just really looking for signs of racism. He I just tried to consider Bruno's point of view, but his point of view is so ignorant. It's a big problem. Now, Renee, what's your hot button? My hot button? <laughs> My hot button is I don't like that white bitch. Not one bit. Whatsoever. I don't trust her. Yeah. Um, I like how Bruno is like, he, he's like the harbinger of, he's like, uh, Hannity. Um, okay. 20 years early, you know, he's like, uh, you know, George Floyd was asking for it. You know, he's like, mean, he he, if he he went out there looking for a confrontation. If he had just been compliant, he wouldn't have yeah. got a, a knee on his neck, you know. And he's on drugs. Uh, you, did I tell you, you smoked a weed before we walked down Sunset? Bruno does seem like he's trying to come up with any excuse he can to fucking. But uh, the black guy, Brian, the husband, the, the black man. He also, and you'll see during this episode too, he desperately wants some white guy to jam his finger in Bruno's chest and go, beat it in word. Get on out of my city. Oh, I could tell he's trying to uh, like, um, he's trying to make that plea to the, 
therapist who's black, by the way. Sure. Um, he's trying to get her to see like, um, I guess the the black argument like, hey, this motherfucker ain't seen racism yet, <laughs> but it's out there. You know, um, I think that's the point he's trying to make to the therapist without saying it. Sure. Um, but uh, the therapist, you know, she's a therapist, so she's probably never experienced racism. Sure. sure. Well, yeah, no. I mean, she probably, you know, going through medical school or whatever they have to go through, college or whatever. She probably and being a woman. Saw, oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, so now the black woman is going to speak about uh, she keeps it vague and at the same time zeroes in directly at the white woman. She's real good at that. Yeah, oh yeah. The black lady rules, by the way. We've talked about this before. She's, I think, the best one on the show because she takes no shit whatsoever. I guess, you know, when people I feel that should know better use words, you know, racial slurs and, you know, just comments, that's a hot button for me. I think Renee holds on to judgments too much. I totally feel her judging me all the time. It sucks. Has anyone ever offended you? Um, I've been dismissed for not understanding things or being clueless because of blonde or white. Because you smell like wet dog, bitch. Because you are stupid. Because you don't fucking spice your yeah. food up. Yeah, the black chick is giving her the eye from across the room like she's like, bitch, you better watch what you say to this <laughs> black woman. Don't you dare throw me under the bus, bus in front of this black woman. I'm going to have to see her at church on Sunday. She goes, she looks at the black woman. She goes, she, see, with the white shit again. She's pulling that white shit again. That's what I'm talking about. Every goddamn day she's talking about <laughs> white this, white that. <laughs> I don't love it, but I know who I am. She gets, her, her emotions get into it. She's very sensitive. I don't want to have a bad impression about white women just because of what I've experienced with Carmen. I don't like doing But I'm racist. <laughs> but I'm pretty fucking racist. Like, I don't like being around white people, especially white women. I don't want to seem racist because this white woman uh, ruined my impression of white people. <laughs> but that's just the situation. <laughs> Uh, Since we've all agreed to participate in a project, I, from my perception, geared toward. I like the black guy is just laying on his back. Like, yeah, on the couch. Like, he's like, oh, boy, fuck all this shit. Come on now. The black dude is like, this is what y'all be doing in therapy. Y'all white <laughs> motherfuckers. Yeah. Healing misunderstanding, not re resurrecting it and maintaining it. Resurrecting oh, yeah. it like white Jesus. Yeah. Black lady's done. Yeah. She put her feet up on the couch and laid back like, mm -hmm. can someone put on the, the first wives? What's a black movie? Uh, how, <laughs> I was going to say the. Yeah, that's all white people. Uh, yeah. How Stella got a groove back. Yeah, there you go. That's a black movie. <laughs> put on love and basketball. <laughs> all right. Clip number two. White girl plays two truths and a lie with her theater class. Well, oh, her class Christ. plays it. Yeah. Um. I want you to pick out what the two truths and the lie are. Okay. okay. Since the beginning of this project, I have been trying to find a deeper understanding of what it's like to be black. All right, lie. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Lie. You've been trying to find some black dick. Yeah. <laughs> My poetry class is going to be performing at this place called The Lounge, our final week, and we really need to prepare. Okay, here's the deal. So I want you to write on this piece of paper two truths and one lie, okay? And then you're going to stand up and you're going to say your two truths and a lie, but you're going to say them all with super duper Willie Mammoth confidence, because that's what we need to do on stage and anything. And we're going to guess which one is a lie and which ones are the truth. So I know what you're thinking, right? The way this show is produced, okay, we're going to see Rose, the white girl, stand up and do two truths and a lie. Mm hmm No. Mm -hmm. Oh. Who wants to go first? Oh, my mom. Okay, quiet. Uh, All right. So we have some a black girl. Black girl, I believe her name is Blessed. Um, Shit. <laughs> Probably not if this is what she's doing after school. What you naming your kid? Mercedes. All right, I'm going to go with Bless then. Uh, I'm going to go with at the school program. <laughs> Wix. <laughs> um, all right. Snap. <laughs> so um, 
I need you to identify and none of these are great, by the way. None of these are great. I need you to identify the lie in her three truths and a lie or two truths and a lie. Yeah. So I need to identify blessed's lie. Okay. There you go. My father has been in prison all my life. I used to be a stripper. I get all my underwear from the 99 cent store. Oh. That's the lie. The third one. So her father has been in prison all of her life. She used to be a stripper and she gets all of her underwear from the 99 cent store. That is a fucking lie. You know she'd be buying that good ass Gucci uh, knockoff stuff from the alleyway. Okay, fair enough. So you definitely think her father was in prison all of her life, and that she used to be a stripper. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Oh, Probably still is. That's a tough one. <laughs> okay, go. Nobody as diva s as her gets their underwear from the nine nine. Thank you. Okay, you don't think she would be a stripper? What do you say, bless? I said the draws. Draws? <laughs> oh, shit. I think Blessed is the, the black guy. Oh, uh, well. I mean, he's he's pretty similar in personality to uh, Marquette. <laughs> and the dad. The dad? Rose, what do you say? Um, dad. Dad? 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 No, I'm a little stripper. I'm a little stripper. You didn't strip. Yeah. Okay. No? I didn't used to be a stripper. Yeah! yeah. Aww. Oh, you're wrong, but her dad is still in prison, probably for murder. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, dude. Or for something he didn't even do. Like what? Murder. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> Ew. And she definitely gets her underwear from the 99 cent store. Yeah, she's fucking disgusting, dude. <laughs> okay, Jesus. So, uh,. One of Bruno's. So I guess I guess that was a learning moment for <laughs> white girl, right? Like, oh wow, black people, their dads are all in prison and they have to buy their underwear at the ninety nine cent store. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, and that's what that, that's what that was supposed to teach her. I guess. Yeah, that's what she picked up on. She goes, oh geez, their underwear is so cheap, and also that's why prisons are so full. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> that that's why I have to keep paying all these prison fees for the. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is it? Daddy's donation ceremonies or whatever. What uh, What does Bruno do? Is he involved in the prison system or anything? Uh, I forgot what he does. No, I I don't I don't know that they explicitly said what he hmm. does. We'll have to do some. I mean, maybe it'll come out in context when we go through the clips. But I feel like Bruno is either like a defense contractor or yeah. a speaker salesman. Yeah, he's got definitely he's got salesman uh, vibes. I think. But I don't know if it's speakers or if it's, you know, fucking M16s Missiles. or yeah. something like that, you know. Um, all right. White girl is getting close to a gentleman named Devon in this clip. Oh, boy. Even though I'm in black makeup and around black people, I'm still trying to squeeze my way into something that I'm not exactly. Yeah, bitch, I'm trying to squeeze my way into <laughs> something, too. Yeah, you're trying to get squoze into. <laughs> Welcomed into. What's up? Thank you. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. Oh, we're just hanging out. A lot of people there don't have that quote unquote hood experience. Right. It's a, it's a big change for you to look around in your environment and it just looks dismal. Yeah, this black dude's wearing a turtleneck in fucking Beverly Hills. Well, then you know he's a trendsetter. <laughs> okay, good. He's probably not in a gang. Uh, yeah. No, uh, yes, probably not. You're right on that. Um, it is funny to see how times have changed because it wasn't safe back then either. But at various points in this show, these people are taking strolls down Crenshaw Boulevard. And you're like, uh. oh, boy, like you can't be any lighter than black coffee nowadays and not get killed. walking." Down I'll Crenshaw. tell you, Crenshaw is weird because you I've been down Crenshaw a few times and you don't realize that you're going to be on that street until you are. So, like, I was on a bus once in L.A., and I was like, oh, shit. Like, I just looked out the, the window, and it went from, like, bodegas and Radio Shack and shit, like, just in a little strip, to just, you know, like, human waste and, and desolation. Just a really bad scene. And then you're, I see the sign. I'm like, oh, shit, Crenshaw. And then you move on. It really is a bad little strip. <laughs> yeah. Um, and one time I, I was uh, in L.A. to see a concert. I, I got out of the concert late at night and I just I had to wander to find a hotel. This was like way before you could pull out your phone and just Google 
the closest hotel. This was like 2006. Sure. So I had the internet on my phone, but it was so fucking janky. You know, I couldn't map my way anywhere. So I was fucked. Um, I just walked until I found a hotel. And yeah, I, I passed through Crenshaw. I, I'm surprised I'm here to talk to you about it. Yeah, and this poor sur- kid. You survived it. Yeah. Good for you. Um, all right. So here's Devin. Right. And it really, I really like Devon as a person Devon. Devon. with a lot to say. Gone are the days of civil playground games and piggyback rides. So I settled for less than what used to me more in all my life. I've settled for less too intimidated with the best or too far gone with temptations to make it last past eighth grade. All the while wondering what it meant to have a crush. How I remember meeting Devon. Also, I mean, the first time that he opened. You know, I wonder if he's made anything out of that uh, poetry career. Yeah, he was shot in 2008. Yeah, probably. We should look him up, though. Devon the Poet. Yeah, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> It'll be great if he goes, so I moved and I changed my name to Drake. <laughs> yeah, I moved to Canada and went back in time and assumed the identity of Aubrey. <laughs> yeah. Last name unknown. <laughs> um, so, yeah, she's starting to feel uh, feel a Devon's throb. Uh, throb a little bit, if you will. Mm-hmm. Um. I wonder how Bruno's going to respond to that, but you know. Whatever. Oh, I thought I, I, you'd think he'd be overjoyed. He loves black people. He uh, said how superior they are. I would love it if you married a colored. I have no issue with that. I had assumed this whole program was a way to just get his daughter in with black families so he could sell her off. Is it, the uh, what is it? A dowry? The dowry. Yeah, yeah. The dowry is just he gets an N word pass. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's been. That's why he had the kid in the first place. He's like, all right, if I have a daughter, I can trade her in 18 yeah. years for an N word pass. Uh, wanted one my whole life. I've always wanted to shout that word loudly and be totally unaccountable for it. My my grandpa used to tell me about how great it was to have an N word pass, and I've just always wanted one. He married one of his slaves. So yeah, he, he got had, it. He had a dual N word pass. <laughs> I mean, the first time that he opened his mouth with that first poem, he was in his zone. And immediately I realized that this was somebody that... Yo, yo, I still have to laugh at how ridiculous of a concept this is. She's yeah. watching him do some shitty deaf poetry jam ripoff in a fucking living room with a Pirates of the Caribbean poster on the <laughs> poster back wall. On the, on the- uh, yeah, in the living room. Yeah, of, of all fucking places for your pirates poster. Her Holy shit! Shin is at her chest because she's so amazed by this, as she spray painted black. Yeah, and this she's, <laughs> her wig is like it's it's a very convincing wig, but it's like stuck on her head in such a way. Her hairline's fine. It looks like a real black person's hairline, but her fucking. Her real hair is like <laughs> pushing up. There's so much pressure from her real hair pressing against uh, the, the the matted down black wig that it's like a, a, a tumor on her skull. <laughs> All right, let's finish this. That I was probably going to have a little bit, perhaps a, a little bit of a crush on. And as strange as it Uh-oh. may seem. Love is a poem I spend a lifetime writing, so let's make the next poem reality. Damn. Damn. I feel like Damn. We're going to eat. <laughs> yeah, damn. Who's going out and getting the Popeyes? This guy's tur- got an invisible turntable. Look at this motherfucker. Yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, uh, is that a part of Death Jam? I didn't know that. Was that part of the poetry? Is like... So when the guys are doing the, the the slam poetry or whatever, are they are you supposed to be imagining like scratches and beats <laughs> in your head to go along with it? You know how you know how no, that's how they clap. You know how beat mix used to snap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They just go like this. Oh, they just scratch. <laughs> yeah, they scratch find a the surface audience. and scratch their nails into it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's finish this clip that I've learned to blend in. But my main motivation is to actually connect on a soul level where color difference just doesn't matter. Yeah, bitch, I'm trying to hit your soul too. Anything else you got up in there? Yeah, I'm trying to wreck your soul along with your womb. (laughs) Uh, All right, now we're going to... Oh, yeah, that's going to be a rude awakening for her. I hate to generalize black dudes, but there's one thing I've learned from my wife doing um, like online content and stuff and interacting with fans. It's black dudes 
when they got a big dick, they want to fuck you up with it. They really want to just pulverize you with it, you know? <laughs> sure. This girl better be ready. Why have the weapon if you don't want to fire it off? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I just, I don't know how far we're going to go. I have not watched. We only have one episode left after this. Oh, well, we should watch that. Okay, I mean, we will <laughs> eventually. We will. Um all right, we're going to pivot. Uh, black woman takes white woman to get her hair did. Come I wrote on. that myself. That was my exact wording. Oh, okay. Well, if you said it, it's fine. I thought that was how Ice Cube put it in the chapter selection. <laughs> no. Today I'm taking Carmen to a black hair salon. It's kind of like where we as black women get together and just bond. I'm hoping that maybe we can... By the way, to the new listeners, we have to point out, they gave the white woman the worst fucking black hair in the world. The the white woman looks like if a slave who built the pyramids was brought back to life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she is what Don Imus was talking about when he said nappy headed hoes. <laughs> they gave her the worst hair. It's Oh man, it's a shame. and it's like her skin tone, the skin tone they gave her, I mean it, it might look natural on a black person, but on like when the light, the natural light hits her, she just looks like <laughs> Not like sunburned, but like a a woman who is sun stained, you know, who's just been burned and burned and burned excessively to where she's just a, a a walking melanoma. Like a woman who ended up in Florida on the following the uh, Motley Crue 1986 tour and just right. stayed. She's like, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I could work on this tan 12 hours a day down here. Yeah, I didn't realize they kept the carnival open year round. <laughs> <laughs> find a way to get along and maybe that to open the doors for us to you know break through what we have been having difficulties with in the house i definitely do still have sensitivity around her name but there's a part of me that would like to connect with her she she is a neat woman and i'm a neat woman there may or may not be space for friendship i really don't know uh, what, are they gonna cut the wig no, no. <laughs> That's a good point. What if they start shaving her head and it fucking pops off? Oh, yeah. It like it clogs up the clippers with all the fucking netting at the base of the wig. She 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 goes, I didn't know what to do. So I just acted like I was in a David Cronenberg movie. Ah, she starts peeling her head off and wiping her skin. Yeah. Oh, my God. And she said, you've made me white. Some black woman screaming, that's the devil. That's the goddamn devil. Y'all do voodoo up in this month? <laughs> you are <laughs> going, girl. This is great. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Where would you like me to hang out? Hang with her? Right there? Great. Thank you. How are you? Good. Thanks. Oh my god, they're laughing at her. Yeah, all the other black women. They don't uh, know. They probably think she's just some corny ass fucking black chick. Well, maybe. Or they're like, Jesus Christ, another white woman coming in here in blackface. <laughs> you think it's an epidemic? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> god damn, another one came in today, Rayshawn. Another fucking white woman dressed in airbrush blackface came into the salon today. Ice Cube at it again. <laughs> Uh, all right. White woman talks to the hairdresser. He is the clip I have here. She does say something rather foolish. It's uh, more of a pop culture thing, but it's pretty foolish. She oh, works here very Jackson often. Mm -hmm. Well, through the week. Like, you know what yeah. I like too is the music's not on all loud. Yeah, I don't really listen to like <laughs> hardcore rap unless uh -huh. it's on the radio. Okay. Yeah, I'm the same way. Because I'll be listening to like 50. Like, I love yeah. 50. 50s, yeah. 60s, 70s, 80s. No! Right. <laughs> 50s! 50s! <laughs> she's talking about the 50s. The rapper! Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know who 50 Cent is. She sure doesn't, no. no. Um, that was just kind of painful. <laughs> yeah, that was just a fun little one to show you how stupid this lady is. Uh, I, I hope she's a fucking grease spot now. <laughs> Jeez, she's like hard to watch. Now, I think I was getting annoyed with cutting these clips because I didn't necessarily describe this one great. Um, I wrote, 
black woman hates white woman. You can tell. She lambastes her for a few minutes and white woman doesn't disappoint. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. I would characterize Carmen as naive and, you know, has no, I mean, I hate to say it, it just has no clue about having a relationship with someone of another race. So how long have you been out here? Now, let me ask you this. First off, she comes up touching this other black lady's back like, hey, hey. Uh, that ain't there? good. Let me ask you, they are in a hair salon. She is a clueless white woman. What is she going to ask to do? Use the bathroom? No, strike one. Um, turn on the music? No, strike two. They are in a hair salon. She is curious of how uh, black people live. What is she going to ask to do? Uh, to f- c- corner that bitch's hair? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I just came back home. See, I'm originally from Philly. Philadelphia. Philly. Philly. I still feel like I wouldn't want to introduce you to any of my friends because I don't really know what you're going to say. What's your name? Tila. Tila. Yes. Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Tila. Love your hair. Can I touch it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love your hair. Can I touch it? <laughs> That's how out of fucking touch I am with racism. <laughs> um, I, I, would, I didn't even think of that. Oh, my God. She... You fucking bitch. <laughs> because she just gave herself away. Yeah. <laughs> Who else would have ever asked that but a fucking dumb honky? I know you have the same hair as me, technically, from what you can see on my head. Can I touch your hair? I really want to see that. Oh. Oh, it is in it. Too adorable. Like, what? What black woman goes up to another black woman and say, can I touch your hair? It was just kind of like, okay, I tried. I can walk away from this knowing that I did all that I could to try to establish a relationship with her, and it's just not going to happen. I'll be honest with you, man. I (laughs) never wanted to touch a black person's hair. (laughs) Jesus, why? (laughs) I just figured, you know, it's just hair. I got pubes. (laughs) I thought maybe you were going to dig yourself out of that one. Instead, you just started going, nah, let's go further. <laughs> I went South Park on that <laughs> let's one. Try, yeah. Let's try and reach China, why don't we? Touch their weird straight <laughs> too. Uh, oh, dude, they do Chinese people um, haven't fucked a few Asians. I could tell you, dude, Asian people got weird pubic hair. I mean, I'm not saying it's better or worse. It's just weird because it's like real soft, like the hair on your head, you know, or on an Asian person's head. Mm-hmm. Um But it still like looks and grows all ugly looking, you know, like pubic hair. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like we all have ugly pubes, you know, Mm -hmm. Um, but there's there's definitely feels different. But it's like it's still like you don't want to fuck with it because you're like, yeah, look at that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't like pubes. I'm not a fan of pubes. Me either. I think they're fucking disgusting. (laughs) We can all agree Uh, of Girls of any race, I'm out on pubes. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. fuck them. Uh, white man and black man run a social experiment. Okay. Isn't that what this whole fucking show has been? Yeah. <laughs> because Brian is so hellbent on me experiencing racism, we're going to go out and see how many good Samaritans we can find in here in Simi Valley, a primarily white neighborhood, by pretending we're having car trouble. So far as Black Bruno, I haven't felt like I've been discriminated against at all. And Brian is very anxious for me to feel this, but I'm not so sure that I am going to. Hey, man, you wouldn't happen to have any jumper cables, would you? You wouldn't happen to have any jumper cables, would you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, not that I lend to black people. Sorry. Sorry. Maybe if you wipe that shoe polish off your face. (laughs) Maybe if you could just whiten up a little bit, then maybe I'd lend you my jumper cables. But I don't want them stolen. I hope you understand and respect that. What? uh, That's racist. I mean, he got he got what he wanted, you know. I'm not sure what I can personally say to Bruno to get through to him because we've had the big discussions. If I don't want you to call him him the N word, yeah, just call him the N word, Brian. Just throw it at him. Wow, I experienced racism for the first time today. A black guy called me the N word. Brian was right all along. Issue would not be for lack of trying. Do you have any cables? Um, yep. Oh, thank you. 
<laughs> Bruno goes, aha, she's not racist. <laughs> she, you could see though, look, look, she curled her lips like, mm-hmm. yep. Mm-hmm. 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 For kids, two black eyes, I kids, guess. Kids, stay behind me, okay? Kids, stay behind me. I yeah, wanna, but I mean, I want to touch their hair. To to just to be fair, though, I mean, if she's a lover of true crime, like most mothers of two are, um, she's got just as much reason to be curling her lip for anybody trying to ask for oh, jumper sure. cables, you know? Yeah. Um, it just happens to be two black guys with a camera crew right now. <laughs> Yep. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Gosh, with all, you need a hand loading all your stuff in the car? Oh, oh, no, so, no, we're good. God. We're good. We're good. Please stay well, away. You, you want me to pick your kids up and change your diaper? Yeah, you want me to hold your kid or something? What's this deal? <laughs> What's hey, your problem, lady? You're not being racist, are you? You want me to put your kids in the back seat of my car? Come on. I mean, let, yeah, you want me let to follow you there. home? <laughs> Escort your ass? Yeah. Oh, I can give you some money, but first I got to follow you home. How's that sound? <laughs> No, Come over, God, fix your pipes. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe clean out your pipes, bitch. <laughs> du- that's douche for her. Douching for her. Oh, okay. I thought I, it meant like uh, worm her her toilet <laughs> plunge line. What's the thing that you shit down? What's that tube called? <laughs> that's shit tube. The tube, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing she wants snaked. <laughs> So I really appreciate that. Hope you're not mad at it. I really feel like I really... People were more than happy to help us, uh, regardless of the fact that we were black. We used to have a really bad car, so I'm Ah, okay. Cars. You ready? Yes, we're ready. Thank you. Good deal. Good, great. Appreciate it. I must say I'm thoroughly impressed. Everyone was very helpful and courteous, and uh, I'm sure this was a little frustrating for Brian. And frankly, validating for myself. I'm very frustrated because every time I take Bruno out in his black makeup, um, I'm striking out. Every time I try and prove how racist the world is, goes and fucks me over. (laughs) Racist, man. (laughs) The world is technically being racist by not being racist towards Bruno. Yeah, being racist towards me by not proving my point, by being racist to him. Uh, I don't think this one, we're going to skip this next one. Ah, yeah, yeah we're going to skip it. This doesn't matter. Is uh, it hot? No, uh, white girl goes to the hair salon, but it's not fun at all. Yeah, um, she's a fucking drag. So she skipped, uh, she skipped her poetry troupe or whatever was going to go check out the venue. And she kind of skipped that. And one girl was like, you know. They all think you just like left because you didn't feel like it. And she's like, oh, my God, did I offend them? Da, da, da. It sucks. It's, it has nothing. You no, know, they think you sightseeing. <laughs> this one you'll enjoy, I believe. Um, Their pussy. Yeah, it's her pussy. It's just hanging out, <laughs> gaping after Devon left. Um, the black woman on this show decides, fuck Carmen, the white girl. But she does need to make some white friends. So Mm -hmm. she is about to go through uh, various things that white women do. Okay. She's going to go to an Alanis Morissette concert. (laughs) She's going to go see four non-blondes play at a (laughs) county fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's 2006. She's probably going to go to a Dixie (laughs) Chick show. Yeah. Uh, Black woman goes to Bible study. Oh. I want to find out more about the opposite race. And Carmen's not giving me that, so I'm going to move on. So today I'm so going to I think to she's Bible giving study. you exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's showing you point by point what the other race is about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, You just need to close your mind, not listen. I, yeah, you're doing a good job being white, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've learned what it is to be white. Anytime someone brings up concerns, you just brush them off because you got shit to do today. You just talk louder. <laughs> Hi. I'm Renee. Nice to meet you. I'm Mary. Mary? Sorry for being so late. Better late than never. Oh, that's okay. You must have been operating on colored people time. Oh, man. Imagine if she just 
icebreaker was a racist <laughs> joke. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, so before we does start she, Bible yeah, study. Yeah, just roll with it. Yeah. yeah. Before we start Bible study, my name's Karen. Nice to meet you, Carmen. Uh, let me start with a little joke. Uh, two coloreds walk into a bar. Uh, let goes, me stop you right okay. there, bitch. Yeah, she just can't can't <laughs> yeah. contain it. Yeah. <laughs> Two colors walk into a bar, and they uh they rob the place. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? Or is it just a so uh, abiding commentary of the world we live in? Now let's pull up Leviticus, uh, if we could, in the Bible. And let's let's jump right to the part about uh, putting out an eye of your slave. <laughs> When I first met them, I thought, oh, my God, I'm sitting down with two older women. One of them looks like she's even older than my mom. So yeah. wait, had you come for a Bible study? I mean, had you uh, yes. did you think you were having one today? Oh, I forgot to bring my Bible. So I, don't, <laughs> I yeah. thought it was kind of like a point. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, because normally I'm used to, like, meeting actually at the church. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I thought maybe this is a L.A. thing, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> Um, actually, we just moved um, here to California, so right now we're living in Tarzana. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Tarzana, you better watch out for all the monkeys around there. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. yeah it's, it's one thing um, to want to do this social experiment, but I wonder, maybe they were planning on it, but it's like, I wonder if they anticipated how bad some of these situations could have gone if they did find a real fucking genuine racist, you know? Well, that see, that's the funny thing. The way reality TV goes and stuff like that, nowadays they'd be like, we're going to send you to a Klan meeting. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like they want more. I mean, I'm sure there was manufactured drama back then. Sure. Right. But it wasn't like uh, like nowadays it would literally be like, OK, Brian, black guy, we're going to dress you up like a white guy and we're going to send you to a QAnon meeting. Uh, right. So, you know, yeah. Um, all right. Try not to get too triggered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so as all white women do, you are not married to a white woman, but I can confirm with my wife and your mother and everything else, I assume. Um, Carmen is going to attend the next most obvious thing that white women do. What is that? Fuck, dude. Uh, let me think. Um, not Bible study, not Dixie Chicks. Uh-huh. Um, karaoke? No, knitting class, obviously. Jesus Christ. Well, I tried Bible study, but they weren't women that I really felt like I would click with. But them bitches was old as shit. Them bitches was old and prude and corny. So y'all is probably preparing for death, huh? What do you think the Lord's going to be like when you meet him? Oh, he's going to be beautiful. Big, long, white beard, luscious, white skin. Oh, hold on. Let me let me stop you, bitch. Um, Actually, uh, God is black. I don't know if you know that or not. That's all. I you just kind of went on a rant think there. These white women are going to have an argument with this other white woman about whether God's black or not. Listen here, you fucking bitch. God is not black. He was white. He was- I would never follow a black God. <laughs> Don't even get me started on Santa Claus. He is black. <laughs> that one's black, okay? Breaking into your homes every year. But the Easter Bunny's white. <laughs> Um, she's got like a, a hierarchy of races yeah. for all the mythical creatures. Leprechauns, obviously they're Asian. Because <laughs> yeah, they're so little. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So knitting class. Knitting. She's going to be a knitter. <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> That's all I've got. So I'm going to try knitting because I think that's something that a lot of white women do. Hi, I'm Renee. Hi, Renee. Hi, Hi. Hi Renee. <laughs> this is something I'm designing. It's a crochet project uh-huh. and it's for beginners. Oh, it is? Yeah. But, we, okay. we do it step by step and we do it in a very methodical way so that you won't get frustrated. So okay. it'll be enjoyable. It looks like everyone's knitting, but most of them also know how to crochet. These women, I mean, are very good at what they do. I mean, just very crafty. I mean, because they were pulling out all kind of things that they made and they were telling me I would be at the same point 
as they are. And I'm thinking to myself, yeah, right. We all have Where did they find this many balding women in L.A.? <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. Balding white women, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like the salon had plenty of them, but that was just short hair. Yeah, that was just a bunch of black chicks with shaved heads. <laughs> I'm going to be going to a meeting of cancer survivors who just found out they're in remission. Uh, yeah, they, the only thing that got them through the treatment was knitting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's finish this. Thinking to myself, yeah, right. We all have a huge stash of yarn in Oh, home. really? More than we'll probably ever knit. <laughs> I couldn't relate to it. I couldn't get into it. I thought this was boring. You're having a little trouble with starting. This one? That's from the top. Under, go from underneath. That's in the back. Go all the way around. No, no. All the way around. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were a black person. (laughs) Look at this one lady. She's looking at her going, that bitch ain't white. I can just tell that bitch is not white. She smells it. (laughs) Smell watermelon seeds. What smells like Creole seasoning? (laughs) (laughs) What smells like dry rub? (laughs) The whole entire time I'm thinking... This is white America. <laughs> okay, with ladies, thank you. It was a, I didn't know if I was ever going to meet a white woman that I was going to click with. I was thinking, this is white America. They're just sitting around going, <laughs> tax loopholes, <laughs> write-offs. Uh, Hitting. She's got some tits, huh? So, yeah, I think she's got some pretty fat titties, actually. Yeah, black mom. I'd yeah. suck them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think this is a quick one. White man goes for a stroll. Black man gets shot. I wrote black man wishes upon a star. I thought it would be fun to walk down the neighborhood that I've walked around many times as a white person to see what it would be like to walk in that same neighborhood as a black person. You guys have a good day, huh? Thanks. See you later. I believe that Brian thinks that I am hard-headed and unwilling to look at the fact that there is racism and that it's tougher to be a black person in this society. He's not getting the little subtleties, the, you know, people turning their head when you try to speak to them or people not want to speak to you or walking away from you across the street. So he's not grasping that. So I would love for something drastic. Did you say pause? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, basically, he's not reading into all these signals that only I see and no one else sees. These little subtle hints and clues, the secret behavior that people don't let on to when they tell you things with their third set of blinking eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Lizard people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's about to say the line uh, where he's wishing upon a star. Yeah, so I would love for something drastic to happen while he's in black makeup. <laughs> Hi. I would love for him to get assaulted by some white people. I think that would just be swell. I would love for four white motherfuckers to beat him senseless <laughs> with bats and pipes. Remember what happened to Emmett Till? I wish it was Bruno Till. Yeah, Bruno King. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, tell me about it. Are you familiar with it at all? No. It's in our fish. It's getting into our fish from the coal burning site. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it $5. Okay. When Brian says the Bruno block, I think he's saying that I, I live in denial and I'm not really seeing the uh, rampant racism that is there in front of us all. I believe if you want to see bad things out there, you want to see racism, you, you'll see it. I think the Bruno block is really the Brian chip. How you doing, my man? <laughs> What's going on, my uh, man? I think Brian needs to get himself a pair of Brian boots and lift himself up <laughs> by those Brian bootstraps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, Bruno is such a smug, condescending prick the way he talks to people. Uh-huh. He, ha- he asked that motherfucker, tell, tell me about your thing. And the guy's like, well, Mercury's getting in the fish and Bruno just cuts him off. And he goes, I'll tell you what, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, all right, man, what the fuck? I thought you wanted to hear about the goddamn fish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we have a clip here of white girl invites black friends over and they recount black discipline. Now, I'll How be old honest. Is white girl? She got some tits on her, too. Yeah, she's she's 18 for purposes of this. And you literally took the words out of my mouth. No. Oh. White, white girl's got a pretty solid set on her. So that's all right. Um, oh, man, I love those. uh those what are they spaghetti straps oh, and yeah. those like mid yeah. mid riff 
exposing shirts from the early 2000s. So fucking trashy and hot. Yeah, real trashy. I like it, though. You're right. I love it. Yeah. Little tiny waist on some big old white titties. That ain't bad. That ain't yeah, bad. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the only thing she's missing is a big black wiener. <laughs> Today, Devon, Blessed, and Latoya are coming over for my poetry class. Some black woman. Damn, Blessed ain't no. Are you sure she ain't a stripper? Hang out with that. <laughs> like, Holy the shit! Are hanging out pretty much. God damn, she got the body and the clothing and the fucking stupid attitude for it. That's for sure. I just got off shift. By the way, that game I call it Three Truths. <laughs> yeah, I call it. I call it uh, Three Truths and a and one later. <laughs> Um. Oh man. Yeah. No. Solid tits on this show. Solid except, tits except on these kids. Obviously, the white woman. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Fucking Karen or whatever. Carmen. Yeah, she's a fucking raggedy old mole. Is that her name? Is it Carmen? Carmen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. I can start to feel a little bit like I'm just the naive white girl. Mm. Do you guys have any white friends? Uh, do you guys have any white friends? You got any nice silverware? You got any uh, coin jugs or anything? <laughs> Your daddy got a safe? <laughs> I'm starting to feel like the naive white girl. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Your daddy got a safe or what? <laughs> Your daddy got any guns? You ever seen a gun before? Let me show he you mine. Pulls, <laughs> pulls, pulls his fucking dick out. Come think of it. I haven't in a while. I did in high school, but no close, close friends. Does it feel like it, it would be hard to get closer to them? Nope. Yeah, yeah, wait, yes. Yeah. I used to be scared of them. I'm just about the whole people? country music. Really? Yeah, but, I did. Mm. I didn't know how to act around them. Mm. I think that white people communicate different. In line. You think so? I don't know for discipline, too. Yeah, stop breaking the law. <laughs> yeah, you remember a girl we went to high school with, Asia? Yeah. This black chick here reminds me of Asia. Okay, I think that's fair. Who was uh who was the one with the alien head? Yes. Yes, yeah, she had a head like a fucking alien. Quick story, I was a peer leader, which was dorky, but it got me out of school for a week, right? To go to that got peer leadership pussy. thing. I did get some pussy, yeah, I did. But nice. um it uh I then I came home and I, I taught a class of all retarded kids, basically. Uh, they oh. were all kids with aggression issues, and I did make one cry. That we'll recount that on another episode. That's That'll a good, good. That's a good. So anyway, Yaz was walking by, and Yaz was real trashy, real aggressive, real trashy and aggressive. She had this weird alien head. She had these bangs that came down like in just. I mean, they were like black girl prototypical or or stereotypical black girl bangs where it just came straight down and it looked like you painted them on right and she's <laughs> walking by and there's this retarded kid and he kind of knew her because she dated a white boy jerry and um oh yeah jerry was real trashy too he actually did prison time but he was a piece of shit yeah but Yaz is walking by and I guess she knew one of the retarded kids or maybe he had an older brother or something. And the guy goes, hey, Yaz, what's going on? And she looked and she goes, bitch, I'll fart in your mouth. And she Ooh. just kept walking. That's awful. It yeah. ruled. Yaz was so trashy. Don't let that taint your you know, idea of black people. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very common black practice. I don't know if you know that, but uh, as as uh, skull shape dictates, they are overly aggressive and they will tend to fart in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th th new research has just revealed they <laughs> they like to hold you down and fart in your mouth. <laughs> uh, black discipline. Let's go back to this clip. We discipline our kids out. Yeah, we in do. In the grocery store and the grocery store My brother's going to ask for all the time. Right. Seem like every day because we was always doing something. It was sometimes we would get lectured first. Sometimes we get whooped first. I, it depended on what we did. Okay, oh, some parents don't do that. Like when I was growing up, I would get whooped and I didn't know why. Like when I was growing up, I got my ass whooped every day. I would just abuse. Mother's. I mean, that was actual abuse. One time my ex and I were walking through the mall. You know, the big mall where we lived, right? You're on mute, I think. Yeah, the mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there was a black woman in front of us, like five feet in front of us. Like we had just like turned out at the same time. Uh, normally I would give someone space, more space than that. But we just turned out at the same time. She was walking into Macy's and she had a kid that was 
a foot and a half, two feet tall. I don't know how old that is, but it was small. It still had diapers on, right? And the kid was crying, and in front of my ex and I, she pulled the kid's diaper down in front of us and started smacking the shit out of this black kid. Was there shit in the diaper? No, no. But that, I mean, that would have been karma, right? You beat your kid in public, and now you have shit all over shit your hand. in your hand, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, black people don't fuck around. And you know what? I've always said it, and we've said it on all these episodes. Fucking no one is more respected in a community than a fucking black mother or older black woman or whatever, because they know that's where that violence comes from. Yeah. 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 They'll fuck you up, dude. And hey, you know, I I personally like peaceful parenting, not being a parent, though. So who knows? Five years from now, I could be beating my kid's ass in the middle of the mall. I don't know. I like being at war. <laughs> All right, let's listen to some black discipline. Uh, Yaz here, that's her new name. Uh, or Asia. You know, no, Asia sounds too much like Asian. Yeah, Yaz. So this is Yaz. So she goes, I used to get whooped for nothing. My daddy used to whoop my ass. Because some parents don't do that. Like when I was growing up, I would get whooped and I didn't know why. Like when I was growing up, I got my ass whooped every day. He would come, my mother's husband would come and do the belt like this and say, it's time. He would whoop the shit out of me. I don't know well, why. Then that's different. And he would just abuse me. And I, and you know, Well, that's different. That's not discipline. That's abuse. You were physically yeah. abused. Stop trying to misrepresent our community, girl. Yeah, girl. What are you, some kind of fucking racist or something? And then she licks her finger. And puts it across her face, and there's white <clears throat> skin underneath. She goes, oh, nice. I got you, folks. I got all of you. I'm white. I was hired by Master <laughs> P. <laughs> yeah. And at first, I thought he was my daddy because my dad's in prison, and they would right. tell me that this man was my dad. I remember everything. Right. My mom hated me because I knew who she was. Right. And she knows that I remember everything, right. and she's scared of that. But I The white girl's white yes. White girl being yes, a therapist. And, yeah, she's yeah. yes ending her. She's like, right, yep, mm-hmm, yeah. And what happened next? Yeah. Do, mm -hmm. do tell me more. Yeah. She's secretly thinking about just fucking going up and down with her dude, tongue on Devin's dick. Dude, she's been foot jobbing his fucking <laughs> yeah. wiener under the table since they started this meal. Yep. Right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. And he just fucking blew his load between her toes. Devon's like, man, that's abuse. Man, that's a, oh, that's abuse. You shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't Getting uh, abuse oh, right oh, now. Yeah. All, right, all right, stop now. Stop pulling on it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was abuse. You shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Whatever this black bitch said, I don't know. I just had some white feet on my ding dong. <laughs> I, I just released a little white onto these whites. <laughs> I'm not like just, you know, I just remember the past, but I make something out of it. Like you, my mother did so many drugs. It was ridiculous. I really, when I was a kid, where's my uh, PlayStation? Oh, I took it to get fixed. Never saw it again. Little things like mm -hmm. that. Cause that's, that's you? what drugs will do. Oh, and then, but she married him. My stepfather, like he's the like he used to throw me up against walls. Not even, not even hitting, like throw me up against walls for some. Ma and fuck my mouth. No, okay, yeah. I don't think this tough, hard black guy would ever admit to that, but it does happen in their community as well. That's fair. Yep. Math problems. Yo, he'd force food in my mouth, like with the fork, cutting up my whole mouth and stuff like craziness. I'm listening sausages. to these stories. Only sausage in my mouth. <laughs> Only food he fed me was sausage. <laughs> Why? Because it was affordable. His, it was cheap. That's because his, his dick was a sausage. <laughs> he used Please. to call it a sausage. <laughs> you say eat your goddamn sausage. <laughs> I'm saying sausage. <laughs> and the toy I have and I'm blown away and my mom she was in jail like all through Christmas and I remember those days and I remember living with my grandma I've lived with a lot of different people but because of all those factors statistically I should not be where I am and that is the root of my name because it's not luck I am truly when did you get your name because that I made it up yeah, last week is when, when I joined a poetry group, so that's when I became blessed. You know what's uh what's uh, isn't it so funny how every rapper has the fucking dorkiest names in the world? Oh, like Sean Carter and Sean. Well, uh, uh, uh fucking Fifty Cent is Curtis. Curtis Jackson, right? What was DMX's name? Earl. Earl Jones. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um. 
what's what's doesn't Nas have Snoop Dogg has a, a a cute name? It's like uh, Calvin, I think. Snoop Dogg is Calvin. Yeah, but but it, it it's still a dorky name for yeah, like, a yeah, dorky ass rapper. name. Yeah, Nas real name. What is it? Nas. Oh, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> look at look at Nas's real name. Oh, I can't put it on the screen. What is it? Nazir bin Ula Dara Jones. Yeah, that's a warlord name right there. <laughs> it really is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sean Carter. Uh, Notorious B.I.G. was Christopher. So, yeah. Yeah, big Chris. Yeah. Is my life. And, but I'm here, and I went to, I got to go to college, and I'm still going. And, you know, I got family. I got people who love me. I'm sitting here eating dinner talking to you guys. And no matter what has come my way, I... We keep coming out on top. You know. So anyway, Rose, black people. Rose, your mom got any jewelry in the house, though? Or like, you know. So now that I bare my soul to you, are you going to bear that white ass pussy? <laughs> you want to relate and you want to be able to say, oh, yeah, I know exactly how you feel. And then I have to remind myself, like, no, Rose. No, that didn't happen to you. That how could I possibly understand? I haven't lived through what they have. Because, you know, before you have a story, you have to have a storm. You have to have a storm, I think. Do you think that? <laughs> that wholeheartedly. Yeah, Shut you just up. have to be. <laughs> Shut up. It's not poetry class right now. You're eating Chinese food. <laughs> she probably read that in the fortune cookie she just opened. <laughs> You're eating Chinese food, talking about race, which you definitely called that Chinese food something racist. Yeah, you definitely made a joke to the guy who brought that food to the door about, oh, I hope there's no dogs in here. <laughs> you, you definitely <laughs> held the money, but also pushed your eyes back and went, oh, to, to, to. <laughs> oh how much again? Racism so fucking disgusting. Hold on. Let me go get the door. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, ain't no dog in this, right? <laughs> Make sure ain't no dog in that food, huh? See you later, So anyway, Han. racism. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we got to stamp out racism, you know? In it's this just country. bullshit. It's so, it's so cold. It's evil. You have to go through something. You have to go through something. Just to be, you know, a, a human being sometimes, so... After hearing experiences from these kids, I start to wonder if the divide between us is so big if we're ever really going to truly be able to connect. That's kind of a fatalist view. Um, <laughs> sure. But okay, sure. Whatever. I, it's not, I don't, wh whatever you say that means, I was just looking at Rose's tight little body. Yeah, I was too. I, I don't know how she's going to get Devon's dick with that attitude, though. <laughs> yeah. You better um, understand his plight. Let me let me jump this clip and we'll come back to it. So what I have written down here is black girl hangs out with Bruno's worst nightmare. Slavery is brought up. Did I say black Did girl? I, I mean white girl. Mm -hmm. Whatever. He asked me to go out and get some lunch with him and just spend some time together. And I'm really excited to do that. This is a beautiful so area. I thought it was a bird nest back there. <laughs> no, so did you go to school around here? No, nah, I went to school out in, uh, near San Bernardino. Okay, right. You City grew up Harvard, there. I was playing football all year. Varsity, my junior, senior year. Wow. Fuck the girl from San Bernardino. Kind of did you? Yeah, black chick. Oh, yeah? How was it? Um, It was awkward. Why? Um, because, well, actually, this is actually speaks to the difference between blacks and white people, man. Um, like I had, um, I think I had a, 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 a few different race girls up into this point, but I think this is the first time I ever did anything with a full fledged, like black chick, you know? And, um, she was down to just fuck without a condom. Like didn't even have to, like that wasn't even discussed. It was just like, Oh, the dick's going in, you know? And, and it, and it did. Um, but when I finished, like, I was just like, oh, well, I'm not going to impregnate this chick. So I fucking came all over her tits and stomach and stuff. Like, what you're supposed to do, right? As, as is tradition, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's like, if you're not going to finish inside, you got to put it somewhere. Um, and, like, you don't want to be presumptuous and just blast in her eyes. You know, you got, and I, I was like, I thought maybe I could ask about that. But I was like, nah, I'll just be classy, you know, just finish all over her tits. Mm -hmm. And um, I did that. And um, as I was finishing on her tits, um, 
you know, she like kind of looked down and she did the thing where your lip curls down, where you're like, it looks like you're about to vomit, you know? Sure. Like, she looked like down. If two black guys asked you for jumper cables in a parking lot. Sure. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And she looked down at herself and she said, uh, did she just come on me? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, my God. And I was like, what? And she's like, I don't know. No one's ever done that before. And I was like, really? I was like, where do they normally come? And she's like, just inside. And I was like, holy shit. No wonder you have so many fucking kids, you know? <laughs> Gross. Yeah, holy that was shit. a good night, though. I ate your pussy just before this. That's why I, it tasted I, so salty. I did eat her pussy, yeah. Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. It was more like eating a big fucking mountain of Brillo, you know? Out for just a casual day. Jesus. I was in black makeup, and he just showed me around the city in the area. He lives nearby. So did you win Best Smile at your school? Nah. I don't want Best Smile. Nah, bitch, I want Biggest Dick. <laughs> I want Most Likely to Fuck a White Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> most Likely to Fuck Into Money. Yeah. <laughs> Best smile at your school? Nah, I don't want best nothing. No? Nothing. Oh, man. They had a best poet category. That probably would have been me, because that's all everybody <laughs> said. That's the poet right there. Well, there you go. That's about the best comment yeah. you can get, but, to be honest. Nah, bitch, it ain't. <laughs> it ain't. Biggest dick. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if you give me the compliment I'm looking for. They gave that to Jamal. He was from Africa. Yeah, yeah Nigerian dude. But he went back home. <laughs> he got deported, though. <laughs> Devon's pretty cute. And I don't mean like cute. I mean, he's pretty beautiful. When's your birthday? August 22nd. Oh. August 22nd. Hopefully don't nobody forget it. I like that. Right I forgot right. your birthday. Hope nobody, they're at some store. He picks it up. He goes, happy early birthday. She yeah. goes, oh, you got this for me? He goes, yeah, put it in your purse. Don't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. Don't, yeah. Put it in your purse. Walk out. Don't, don't say nothing. Bitch, don't say nothing. I'm going to I'm, I'm cause a distraction, okay? I'm going to go ask for the bathroom. Wait, wait, the wait. Fuck. I'm going to cause a distraction, okay? That white bitch stealing. <laughs> that white girl in black makeup stealing. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that girl in blackface? He doesn't know how to do a distraction the right way. And he just fucking starts knocking shit over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Snatch and grab, yo. <laughs> Uh okay. Now it's gonna get a little iffy. Happy birthday, homegirl. Oh shit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Devon is well he's enlightened, let's say. That's interesting. That's a shackle with shoulder fell real. It's like horseshoes. <laughs> yeah, well they're they're shackles, but yeah, they do look like horseshoes, sure. I don't know, maybe Maybe this kid's history is off. It looks like a horseshoe. What if he starts getting mad at her? He goes, your people put me in these. Yeah, look at it. He's like smashing her face <laughs> yeah, up against yeah. the glass. He's getting he's feeling generational trauma. He goes, I will never wear these again. You you got you never did. What are you talking he adopts about? A, yeah, a fucking a West Coast Africa, uh, African <laughs> accent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like that remind me of slavery. It's hard to look at stuff like that. Is it? Yeah. I couldn't imagine myself in that position. It's crazy. You know, my ancestors, you know, were put in cuffs similar to that. It hurts. Cause I couldn't imagine my grandpa, my Bye brothers, black my sisters, my mom and pop. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. That'd be so funny if Bruno popped in. He's like, they were put in those cuffs and collars by other black people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who sold them to them? Really? He did it in the blackface, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He just like goes around anytime a black person is like making a an impassioned speech about slavery, and he's like, but to put it in context, yeah. the original guys who rounded them up and marched them and sold them to those slavers, those were black guys too. You know, the Irish were slaves at one point, too. Uh, <laughs> this black dude, like, <laughs> yeah. well, not enough people know the history of white slavery. <laughs> Nobody being shackled, being sold, you know, like cattle. And, you know, just thinking about it, I always try to try to put myself in their shoes. I can't do it. But What a profound thought that no yeah. human being should be sold as chattel. Yeah, it's it's amazing that he could make this this speech as a black person to a fucking woman <laughs> of any race, you know? 
Like just every culture <laughs> across humanity for all lengths of time <laughs> have treated women like property up until like 40 years ago. You know, it's like, what? who do you fucking think you're talking to, bro? You know, just to give me more understanding and more appreciation, you know, as to where I'm at, because I don't see how we can live, you know, and forget about certain things that have happened. One really neat thing is that as Devon and I were hanging out, I started realizing how much he was willing to teach me. <laughs> started getting really wet and I wasn't sure what it was. This is like the um, if uh, Natural Born Killers was a. A Spike Lee movie, <laughs> it would be these two, you know? Yeah. It's like a slow burn, and she's she's like this impressionable white <laughs> black chick, and he's like this smooth talking black dude who comes from an abusive background and shit, and they're gonna go off and fucking kill everyone in America <laughs> together. I like the idea that they get married and, and the little fucking uh, uh, Jesus, I thought of six different words, all of which are now <laughs> inappropriate for <laughs> mixed race children. Um, <laughs> these uh the their Oreo. children. Well, that one wasn't one. <laughs> but sure, these Oreo children, uh, <laughs> cookies and cream, if you will, um, go, Daddy, how did you meet mommy? She goes, well, this bitch was doing blackface for a TV show. <laughs> And, uh, you know, this I was, bitch daddy was real racist. I was slinging. I was slinging. I was slinging crack and dick and, uh, and rhymes and, yeah, rhymes. and rhymes. Don't forget. Uh, they called me poet. Daddy, did you win best poet? They didn't have that category. So anyway, they didn't make that till I graduate. <laughs> uh, all right, let's finish this clip. And I swear, like, I don't know. It's just something about black women and like they are just to me with some of the boldest individuals. Right. They're just loud. It would be funny if he went negative with it. He was yeah. black women. They are just the loud and aggressive. I thought that's where he was going. Oh, personally. Yeah, me too. The first time I saw it, I was like, oh, because that would truthfully. That's, to, that's him spitting game. Yeah. He's to, trying to yeah, get this white person. Exactly. Pussy. To fuck Rose, you know. That's I why. think the easiest thing for him to do would be like, so did the makeup go all the way down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does the oh fuck? Uh, uh, does the attic match the basement? <laughs> the attic just sounds musty. <laughs> yeah, that's her head. Uh, all right. Like I have never met a woman will be scared of nobody. I don't care if you're the biggest man. You cross her, she is in your face. <laughs> Do not cross her. Like that's why I respect them to the fullest. Partly because I'm scared, and partly because I've been raised right. <laughs> After Javon and I started talking about what is true for our lives, we talked about our friends and our families and ourselves. It was like talking like kids again. Oh, I swear I saw the same. You're, it got to be all. <laughs> yeah, you, you're. Well, not for the context of talking about her solid tits. She's an adult. Well, yeah, her, she's got adult tits, but she's just <laughs> fucking stupid, dumbass kid in her brain. Mentally, sure. Mentally, yeah. Child. The same. Like, we just people. We are just people. <laughs> we just people. <laughs> well, kind oh of. Oh my god. Kind no, of. It took them five episodes to learn the lesson. <laughs> the, the blacks are people. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um. All right. Whites are too. So, uh, black woman, we're coming back around. She is going to spoiler alert find her niche. I believe with this one. In the white world? Mm-hmm. So uh, oh, not karaoke, uh, not knitting. Knitting. Not uh, Bible. Not Bible. What else is there? Think porn. About, think <laughs> porn. <laughs> so I went to a porn set. I started uh, sucking all these black dicks, and I was right at home. Uh, all right. Think white women. Mind meld with me here. Think white uh, women. What is a – what seems like a boring activity – Crafting keepsakes. Beating? No, but scrapbooking. Black woman attends a scrapbooking Jesus class. Jesus Christ, this is the <laughs> fucking corniest shit I've ever heard of in my life. Sure. Well, right now, 
right now, I'm just a little, you know, discouraged because, you know, I've tried Bible study group and I've tried knitting and those two haven't worked out. So I'm going to try scrapbooking. I'm not going to give up. Everybody else has been, you know, meeting people and making friends. And I feel like I'm being left out here. So hopefully I can get something out of it. Hi, I'm Renee. Hi, Nice to meet you. You too. Oh, this is Renee. Wow. Hi. I'm surprised that dog didn't bite her fucking arm off. <laughs> hey, intruder, intruder. That's she's, she's an imposter, yeah. That's proof that it's not just it's not just a, a something else that dogs are sensing or whatever. No, the dog saw her skin color and was like, oh, white. Okay, this one's yeah. fine. This one's yeah. good. Let this one in the house. Yeah. She wipes yeah, some of it a, off, and the ducks are just going. Uh, uh, put it back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I had a dog in high school. You might remember my the big white um, American bulldog yeah. Nitro, mm -hmm. the one who went blind. It's a, probably a good thing he went blind because whenever he would see black people walking down the street, <laughs> which was a lot, yeah. um, he would fucking freak out, dude. But not white people. He he was like, "Oh no, you shall pass. You're supposed to be here. It's okay. Uh, You're safe." Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see y'all. Also, once again, this is this is part of the problem with her not being able to find white people. These women are all forty years older than her. Yeah, dude. These women are literal fucking senior citizens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Girls at this then, right? They yeah, are. they've been doing it for a while. Can I get you something to drink? I'm fine right okay. now. And we have brownies and vegetable dips. No bra on long. the house. <laughs> we have brownies. We don't let brownies in here, but we have brownies if you'd like to eat one. We got fun. my tits out on display if you want to suck on those. It'd be funny if they were edibles. She's like, we like to get all fucked up here. Yeah, look, no, no bra on mama, huh? Yeah. All right. Small titties, but I mean, you know. Firm. Uh, that's all right. Firm. It looks solid for a fucking old bitch. Yeah, that's true. Something to drink? I'm fine right okay. now. And we have brownies and vegetable dips. So we I walked in and they have like boxes of pictures and they're cutting and pasting. And, and I didn't bring no pictures. Hey, I just thought about it. How the fuck would she scrapbook? She's going to make one for a white person. <laughs> she, just, she bought a whole bunch of picture frames and just took the pictures out of them. Yeah, that like come from, natural. From, uh, yeah. uh, what is that place? Michael's. Michael's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there he is. There's the dog, nice and calm. He's just sitting there thinking, uh, oh, black people. White is right. Hmm. And I'm glad George Bush is still in office. <laughs> This is it? I don't know what I was thinking. Stand out. You don't have to crop your pictures. That's not something you have to do. But I like to because it focuses more on what you want to see. And then you can also get more pictures on your page, too. That's it. It's fun. There's lots of fun stuff. So, okay. But then Deborah, who is a consultant for the scrapbooking class, I mean, she... By the way, that's a real white housewife job. <laughs> scrapbooking class? She's yeah. a consultant for scrapbooking class. That's, yeah, that's not just... real. Uh, it screams pyramid scheme or made up. Yeah. yeah. Would you like some herbal life as well? All you have to do yeah, is you... sell 12 boxes of it and you can have a free drink. We've got this great knife set as well. <laughs> yeah. She was very in tune to me. So what made you choose private school as opposed to public school? Well, we started our girls in Catholic school. Uh, the blacks. Well, well, mostly the coloreds, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're older people, so it's okay to say coloreds there. Uh, and it's okay for them to say blacks in that context. Sure. I told her I'm new here. Oh, she just, it was like, there you go. She just starts spilling things, telling me about schools. And I mean, she was just, I don't know. It was just like, it was really easy talking to her. You want to go into the store sure, and see sure, that? And sure. look at the she has a store in her house. Like this, you're right. This screams pyramid scheme. It's yeah. like, hey, come on over for a free scrapbooking class. Now yeah. I have a store in my house if you'd like to buy some doohickeys or beads to put on your shit. I don't know. It's starting to scream front for human slavery <laughs> ring. Yeah. Well, take a look at who's in the back room. Little albums and see what would work for you. When I first walked into the room, I was surprised that her daughter's best friend was black. Yes, this is Michelle, and this is her this is wait, friend Allison. This is Michelle, my daughter, and this is Allison, her her helper. <laughs> this is her token friend. Allison lives here, somewhat against her will, but we do feed her well. She, she does get paid in weekly kisses. <laughs> 
Uh, Michelle's been scrapbooking since she was four, I think, and Allison maybe a couple years, right? Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't get a vibe or feeling that this woman has any issues with race. What do you usually do for Mother's Day? Oh, um, normally I hint around like I may put something on the refrigerator, <laughs> and I kept putting it everywhere, and I kept hinting, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Do you have to really use, like, you know, like a day at the salon? It worked. And give me a call if you have any questions about your pictures or about the album or even if it's just. Or if you'd like to host a person. If you'd like to. (laughs) If you'd like to host your own party, maybe. And and if you could bring 12 of your friends, that'll get you on the first level. We call them tiers. They're definitely not like, um, you know. Mm, levels to a pyramid or anything, but we can definitely get you on tier one. You bring in 12 of your friends and then all you have to do to make $200 is get each of them to bring in 12 of their own friends as well. Additionally, they all have to bring 12 picture frames. (laughs) Um, For the first time, I felt like I was actually clicking with someone that was outside of this project who was white and wasn't Carmen. Okay, it was nice meeting you. She just hates Carmen. She fucking hates her, yeah. She fucking hates her. Um, All right, let's go to the next clip here. Uh, Once again, black woman is going to pick something very, very white to do. She's going to go out with her friend, her new friend, who I forgot her name already because white people all look the same to me. It's Uh, almost like they should have just let Renee pick her black for her white friend from the beginning. Yeah, that's true. Could have gotten a lot more accomplished. Yeah, they keep Bruno and Rose, but they fucking kick the white woman out and bring a different white woman in. Uh, black woman goes line dancing. Come on, dude. That's not even a white thing. That's just a trashy fucking worthless waste thing. Yeah, my second note on this clip is some cracker gets racist. Oh, cool. This will be good. Finally, he gets his wish. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Brian, the black guy, is like, God damn it, I wasn't there to see that. Oh, God damn, why didn't you bring me to the line dance? (laughs) So Deborah invited me to go to a country bar with her and some of her friends, and we were going to, you know, go line dancing, which is something I've never done before. Whoa, did you see that Confederate flag hanging up? I sure did. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. And it's like in, part of the landscape, you in know? In 2017, Antifa burned the building down. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> up a conversation with a gentleman at the bar and somehow we start talking about neighborhoods oh boy so they're talking Uh, it's never a good thing to talk to whites about no white guy talking about it i don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear it because they're subtitling it here so we'll try i'll read it georgia He says Glendale's police department. Someone said Glendale's police department is known to be really good. And he said they don't put up with anything over there. Yeah, that's always a good sign of a good police department. He says, which is actually good, I think. And someone asks, like, what do you mean? Said, well, you probably don't want to be unarmed and black over there. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you probably want to be the right tone before you call in a uh, a complaint. Well, let's see. What do you mean? Okay, if a guy gets uh, off the freeway and he's in a lowered car with four Mexicans in there. My friend says, what do you think his friend says? I'll give you two options. His friend is either going to say, those gentlemen have a nice car. I hope they keep that thing clean. Or he's going to (laughs) say something a little more along the lines of, what are those fucking Mexicans doing in Glendale? Yeah, probably B. Okay. Then I pull them over. I'll find a reason. You just look guilty. I think, think, what do you call that one? I'm a white guy. 
guy in the middle of the night. I'm driving in the night. It's all black gangbangers. Why am I there? I'm looking for one thing. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it would get there. Yep. Drugs. Well, that's not because it's a black area, then that's because it's a drug area, correct? There you go. She got you there. Deborah is like getting so upset putting this guy in his place. She didn't have a reason to. I was just really impressed with her. Good for her. And I still. Deborah's a SJW. I was really impressed with her, and I still fucking hate Carmen. But I do want to kind of fuck that police officer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really into race play, if I'm being honest with you. I think he was just playing hard to get. I don't care if you put a knee on my neck as long as you put a dick in my ass. Jesus. Uh, hmm, excuse me. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> don't clip that out of context, please. Uh, all right, we are coming close to the end here. I know it's a long one, but that's okay. These are always long ones. Black like man Bruno's. and white man discuss reparations. Oh, wow. Ahead of its time, this discussion is. I think that's been around since like the 60s. Nah, dude. Hey. What Just ever, came up now. Whatever happened to that mule they promised us? <laughs> What about the 40 acres? Yeah, but I definitely wanted the mule. The mule is what plows the acres, man. <laughs> yeah. well, your acres are useless without the mule. <laughs> when Brian and I got home, we started to have a conversation about reparations, which is the repayment to the descendants of African slaves for the mistreatment of their ancestors. Yeah, th slavery was how many generations ago? Yeah, slavery was so many years mm. ago, but mm. all the slave owners, tobacco companies that got all this free labor, and now the tobacco companies are billion dollar industry off the, off the free labor of blacks. All these other big businesses that still exist today Levi's. where money passed down. Sure, yeah. All of them. Yeah, dude. Um, Supreme. What's that one? Racism Incorporated. <laughs> Racism Inc. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Down from generation after generation, they're still getting the monies. That money was made off the backs of slaves for free. So while their generations of kids Sounds are like just a good deal. rich after <laughs> yeah. rich. After Sounds like a hell of a business proposition. <laughs> You're telling yeah. me I get all this labor for free and I get to keep all the money from it? Sounds like, then, sounds like we could build the greatest country in the world that way. And then once, uh, uh, what is it, AI and machinery becomes readily available, I can just fire everybody and make the robots do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds like a plan. Oh, man, you raise a really great point. I can't wait to hear white people start screaming for their own AI reparations. Oh, huh. Yeah, dude, when all the fucking... Uh, coal mines are just getting plowed out by big fucking automated <laughs> diggers and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Some big machine and some white uh -huh. guy screaming, I don't have a job now. I need a dividend, some sort of technology dividend. They go, well, isn't that kind of like reparations? They go, no, no, no. Hold Cletus, on. No. You fought and voted to keep the mines open. You said coal was, was uh, essential to American life. But I didn't know I was going to get replaced by an AI. <laughs> uh, did you, okay, all right. Then where are the reparations for Irish slaves, okay? Because I'm Irish, too. Sorry. They were the first slaves, if we're being honest. Does some robot just hands them bootstraps and lets them know? <laughs> pick yourself. Just the straps and no pick, boots. Pick yourself up by these. <laughs> Cry me a river. <laughs> Honky. I hope AI is racist against everyone, oh, though. Dude. I mean, chap, GPT is already racist, right? No, it's the opposite. You can't even ask it uh, fun race questions. That sucks. Yeah. The rich will be rich for all their generations to come. The descendants of slaves stay poor after poor after poor after poor. Can you imagine what an absolute chaotic mess it would be if all of a sudden the government said, OK, we're going to now give money to all African-Americans who are the descendants of slaves. We've all been enslaved. OK, I don't think checks have been flying around for anybody. Get off it. Please. 
get a job. I don't want my brushes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Is there anyone yeah. better than Bruno? <laughs> yeah, he's heartless, yeah. <laughs> Please, get a job. Get off it. Get a fucking job. <laughs> I was yeah. black. <laughs> I I was black and I still had my job. I got my car jumped. <laughs> Off it. Please. Get a job. I don't want reparations because I don't feel like I deserve it. But there are some that do. If, if there hadn't been slaves there to do it, do you think tobacco companies would have found some way to do it? Would you work today all the rest of, all your life for free? It's unrealistic. It'll never happen. Oh, it's a someone nice thought. Drag me in a chain, yeah. <laughs> Beat me with a whip. I might I might, you know. Sure, if I had those shackles on me, yes. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, if, if they hobbled me anytime <laughs> I tried to escape, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I interact with white all day, every day. I do not have a chip on my shoulder. I'm not paranoid, but there's no way to convey that to Bruno and, and any Bruno type that's out there because they don't want to see it. They don't want to believe it. They want to believe that everything that's white is okay. White is right. Uh, all right. We are coming up to the final stretch here. Is there a pussy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's pussy. Uh <laughs> clip seventeen. All right. <clears throat> Black woman goes to her new white friend's house. Deborah invited me over to her house to dinner because I talked about some of the southern cooking that I that I do. Um, and at the same time, I'll meet her husband, Steve. I'm going to invite this girl, Renee, over. She uses salt in her meals. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. That uh, That is one thing um, where, you know, like the black racists are right. Um, us white folks really don't know seasoning until we get exposed to... Uh, ethnic peoples my like my wife is filipino like they have their own way of seasoning shit right like there's like a lot of vinegar and soy sauce and shit gross stuff right (laughs) um but it's like you like when my wife makes even american dishes there's way more flavor right off the bat you know like when i make something i'll taste it and i'm like i think i'll add a little bit more salt and then i'll taste it and be like uh maybe a little bit more and, but like my wife, she just be throwing shit in there and it works, you know? Sure. Why people are real scared about ruining the food. Um, I think we got to stop as a culture. I think we need to band together and stop being so fucking fearful in the kitchen. That was beautiful. I would say the one exception would be Italians, but I don't even really think they're they, they, white. They, so. they don't season their food really, though. To be honest with you, they just fucking put cheese on everything. No. Which rules. A, I love cheese. Oregano and thyme and all that. There stuff. is a lot of oregano. But yeah. they're, not, and I do. they're barely white, so. Yeah, yeah. They just became white. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> well, we we needed a new member and it was them or Asians. And, <laughs> and was, we already took some Asians, but not all of them. Yeah, we're not taking those southeast ones. No. Um, all right. So black woman visits her friend's uh, house. So I'm looking forward to that. Hi. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Too. Oh. Yeah, he always likes to play bartender. That fucking Bezos? Yeah, it's Jeff Bezos. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I like. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's one of those uh, photographs that's turned On into a pillow. A, no, oh, no, that's a that's a I think that's a like a fake. That's painting. just a portrait. Yeah, okay. like a portrait you're going to hang up. It's uh, the husband and wife with their two white lily white daughters who are definitely sucking black dick at college. But hmm. um, Oh, everyone's wearing white in it. They're sitting at a park and their dumb fucking dog is just in front. Yeah, you're sitting there looking all stupid. <laughs> I like how you always include your dog. <laughs> it's very Caucasian of you. It's very white. I identify with that. It's almost like I am also white. It's almost like you see him as more human than certain races of people. <laughs> I have heard black. My black friends have told me like. You guys like your dogs too much. I'm like, I don't even like dogs, so. I, I do. I like my dogs better than all people. Oh, I understand. Sure. Yeah. I feel like 
Deborah, I can honestly say, is one who is very open-minded and she has a lot of friends. And I won't say just worldly, but just aware of people. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, it was like, it was the same, just like in my household, and it was just great. And here it is, it's this white family, and we pretty much have the same values in raising our children. And I thought that was just awesome. There's a lot to learn. So what do you use to beat your kids? You use a spoon or a bell. <laughs> At 16 and 17, I know they think they know it all, but there's a lot to learn still. Yes. To me, boys are and just I thought I knew so it all. hard oh. to me. Want to I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think we're going to agree with you on that one. Right? Yeah, I don't know about that. No, no. Oh. I guess let's just say it's not easy parenting 16 year olds. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Talking to Deborah and her husband is like, no, it's not a black or white thing. It's just a parent thing. Because I'm so you ready for school. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Oh, my locker shelves. High school. When did your son start? Yeah, she's just starting high school. Well, Nichols had problems in school. Oh. And, um, Nichols got kicked out of school. Oh. He was hanging with the wrong crowd. Oh, was he hanging around with a lot of blacks? Is that what yeah. happened? Yeah. We, we don't let her. Yeah, we don't let her. I mean, we understand she'll experiment in college, but as long as she comes out of it with a white boyfriend in finance, that's all that matters. We're just not going to tell her father. I was brought up a certain way, and I am kind of strict, sorry, but I am kind of strict. I'm kind See, of like I'm not mom. the only one. Yeah. So. I really want to keep our relationship, and I just feel kind of bad deceiving her. I feel like I'm lying to her every time that I go to her house or we do things. Okay. You are. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just frustrated because I don't know what to do. I don't Living know. Up to the stereotype. Do I tell her? Do I just keep continuing on? <laughs> I feel like we've really made a connection here, and I could have a friend after this project is over with. It's so sad yeah. seeing adults like, I need to make a friend. It is, dude. What the fuck is wrong with your life that you want to have a goddamn friend? Jesus know. Christ. I'm so happy just never interacting with anybody, you know? <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. Please. I could I could just sleep and eat and sleep and watch TV occasionally and sleep, and I'd be fucking good until I died. Me too. Uh, all right. Uh, 19. I'm actually going to jump back. I'm going to jump ahead of one clip because the, the order of the episode doesn't fit the order of this. So. We got four more clips to get through, then we're done. A uh, black woman admits she's black to her new friend. Ugh, this is going to be so violent. By the way, I'm really black. Ooh, get out. Get out of my house. Oh. She takes a broom. <laughs> she starts beating the dog. What is wrong with you? Like, How did you not realize? She, she's like Forrest Gump's mother. She goes, I used to, she, Mama just used to brush him off the back porch with a broom. Oh, yeah. And then he, he's like, no, not that kind of raccoon. The <laughs> other kind. Yeah. I've been spending a lot of time with Deborah, and it's been great. <laughs> it's been real easy getting to know her and establishing a relationship. Unlike my experiences with Carmen. God, she will I take was questioning my any chance she can to shit on Carmen, which I yeah, love. I think it's hilarious. She fucking hates Carmen. So anyway, I got this dumb white bitch friend and uh, her name Carmen. So and, I took uh, a shit today and I named it Carmen. <laughs> Like, okay, is it me? You know, but here it is. I bonded with this woman who doesn't have any idea what this whole project is about. Okay, Steve, my daughter thinks I'm the only one that does this. Oh, Semper first. No, we're first shopping in Beverly Hills, and it was great. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Are these real? Baby pink knit beaver with lacy bottom. Oh! Like, this is what we needed to <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we, we had fun. I felt like two teenage girls on the town for the day. Will you take our picture? Oh, such a go? good feeling. Sure. Here we go. Turn that one. Yeah. We love to travel. <laughs> the whole time I'm with her, I keep thinking this is... 
not right. It's not fair. I can't keep going on like this. I feel like I need to let her know who I really am. Well, I do want you to know I'm glad that you did come out with me. This has been great. It's been a good experience and everything. But nice getting to know you. And I do have something to tell you. And I hope you don't be offended because I really do like you, Deborah. I really do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, it, and I don't want you, you sure to think it was something <laughs> to embarrass you. Or... Oh, no, no, no. You could tell me anything. Uh, just not that you're black, though. Please. Please, if that's what it is, just walk away. I can't do this again. <laughs> she goes, again? She goes, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I, Ice Cube got me last year. <laughs> and anyway... Okay. Okay. Um, I am who I said I am, but I do want to let you know that I'm really not white. I'm really black. And when I met you, I will honestly tell you I was so nervous because I was coming into your home and you didn't know anything about me and I felt like I was deceiving you. I felt so bad. This woman doesn't know anything about me and I feel like I'm deceiving her. And when you said that you were Catholic and I'm Catholic and you, you know. Okay, so everything else is the same? <laughs> Everything else moving out here, or are you? No, no, you're not. I'm not. But we can still be friends. Yeah. When she had the look on her face, Mm -hmm. like uh, I, you might have to play the sound clip. Remember in The Shining when uh, Jack Nicholson goes an N word. (laughs) (laughs) She fucking has this dumbstruck look on her face, like, huh? You're that like it's Uh, that that audio is just perfect to summarize her face. Hold on, hold on. I got the clip. Oh, okay. I'm just going to play the audio. Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is a nigger? Oh. (laughs) Never mind. I think someone cut that. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Well, Jack Nicholson follows it up by saying, "Uh uh-huh. Yeah. And that's her face right now. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> now I feel bad. I played the wrong clip. Why did someone cut? You just played one? a really racist ass. Where did you get that? QAnon? No, fucking uh, YouTube. 4chan. Uh, let's see. God damn it. All right. Never mind. We all know the clip. That's a great reference. I should have given you more. But now I'm really fucking hemmed up having putting that word on there. I'm a little nervous. Uh, you could just uh, edit it out. I won't. But okay. Sure. I could. You. You know, okay, so everything. Yeah, she does look nervous. She's like, <laughs> okay. Um, she's she's like getting her pager. I know, you couldn't send messages on a pager, huh? She's gonna have to just call her husband and be like, count <laughs> all the forks. <laughs> hey, remember we invited Renee over the other day? Check the fucking silverware, okay? We're missing a spoon. We're missing a spoon. <laughs> safe. What? Check the safe. The safe. <laughs> Everything else moving out here, or are you? No, no, you're not. I'm not, but we can still be friends. I felt like I was confessing to the priest or something because he was like, you know, Deborah's standing in front of me, and I'm telling her, you know, I'm going on and on, and she's like, oh my god, God, why would I care? (laughs) My gosh, (laughs) I don't think it's about that. It's about whether we have something in common. You know, we have family in common. Do you really have family? That's what I mean. The only thing. Well, now that I know this, is your husband still in the picture or? Is your husband actually black? It, how many members of your family are in jail? Yeah. How many of your, kill- your children were killed? <laughs> That's got to lie to you about. I'm sorry. I felt so much better. I told her the truth. We hugged. We ate another piece of chocolate. And, oh, she you looks know, disgusted from then by on, that hug. I felt like I made a friend in California, and she didn't care whether I was black or white. Like, no. Follow up, and then I never heard from Deborah again. It, it, it's like I don't know. It's kind of like a selection bias, though. Like if you're trying to find racism in California. I mean, good luck, dude. You know, you're going to have to go out to the fucking boonies, you know, out to where they filmed Hills Have Eyes and shit. You're Yuck, I think uh, Amboy or something. You're, think- like- you're thinking about now. This is still nine years after OJ. Eight years after OJ. Yeah, dude, he got off. Yeah, because of how bad the racial tensions were. I know. I thought it was all fixed after that. Yeah, yeah, that that was like when Christ died for our sins. OJ was was acquitted for our sins. 
He was the sacrificial lamb. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Last three clips. Uh, excuse me. Black man takes white man to an all black dominoes game. What the fuck? It's very important to Brian that I understand where he's coming from. So I'm going to be an open-minded student today so that perhaps he can teach me something that will change my perspective on things. Today, I'm going to take Bruno to an all-black dominoes game and I hope this approach will help bring down his Bruno block. Just to help him. I'm hoping these guys jump the shit out of Bruno when he yeah. says something out of line. I'm hoping if he can't pay up, they shank the fuck out this motherfucker. <laughs> By the way, I've watched this clip. Tell me you don't get fucking training day when Ethan Hawke gets left with the guys playing the poker game vibes. Um, I never watched training day. Oh, really? There's a great scene when Denzel Washington takes Ethan Hawke, and he takes him to, like, all these cholos. One of them is uh, Tuco from um, Breaking Bad, actually. Oh, okay, that big neck motherfucker. And he's like, he's like, okay, you just hang out here for a while. I'm going to, I'll be right back. And these guys are just, uh, but basically they're going to kill him until something else comes up. But uh, oh, okay. you get this real ominous vibe where they start questioning him on stuff. And ugh. so you white, huh? So, so you white, huh? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Ew. I don't <laughs> like that. Interact that's with the, yeah, that's, all that's black the and, and see how extent you... of the questioning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ew. All right. Let's kill this white bitch. Goes from there. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? What's up? Brian, man. We just brought the chair in. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you. The scene was these guys sitting around a little car table, smoking, drinking. Um, typical, if you will. Uh, for yeah, a, typical for scene a, for, for these guys. For a weekday at 1 p.m. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Kids everywhere. Yeah. Kids everywhere, but not a father to be found. Uh <laughs> going on and uh playing dominoes it was a real black scene where it was you know black vernacular and you know guys having a good time we ready to come here yeah, i'm so what's our plan so what's four goes to 150 but three houses three houses he didn't even want to uh be in the room i don't really know how to play the game that well either but um it wasn't going to deter me from sitting, sitting there and, and enjoying myself and having a great time <laughs> oh you I'm not uncomfortable being around black people, but there are all different kinds of black people. If there are smoke, yeah, Chris Rock talked about it once. There's oh, all different yeah, kinds of black there's... people. Yeah, there's the ones who are what is that the one about their skin color or the one about their actions? No, it's the one that all white people quoted after Trump got in to prove they weren't racist. It, yeah, it was. Oh, I think it's both. No, it's about their actions because there's black people and there's. OK, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But I mean, white people have been saying that for since the slave days. <laughs> yeah, but. Now they were using it as a defense, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not sure. racist. I just don't like. I do like black people, though, such as guys like uh, I know a black guy named Bruno. He's great. Holy cool, <laughs> down to earth. Doesn't believe in racism. King <laughs> drinking, loud talking, ebonic speaking black people. That's not my element. Hey, you got what does that mean? I got dominoes. That means you got you play first. Okay. That means you didn't get my hand empty first. All right. Where you about to go? <laughs> what did he take some ketamine? Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this one guy just. Brian is laughing like the Joker. <laughs> yeah. He because he knows how uncomfortable Bruno yeah. is. I, I didn't fit in because I don't I, I have no passion or no desire to to learn the game of dominoes. I don't want to be around black stuff. stuff whether it's black or <laughs> I don't like black stuff and I won't be associated with it, you know? It's beneath me. 
white, and that's just, that's a world that I don't belong to. Yeah. I don't like dominoes. I don't like staying inside. I don't like smoking. And I don't like black people. I don't like all this uh, monkeying around. I didn't mean anything by that. I just mean, like, you know, There's doing mean black throw stuff shit on a day. <laughs> throwing shit against the wall, you know? <sighs> yeah, I, I did, you know, I got agitated. You know, it just wasn't fun. I wouldn't be anywhere in a smoky room with guys getting drunk, d- uh, sitting at a table playing anything. The thing about it that, that um, like my uncle, he was talking about in the South. Preach. It's like dominoes are played the same all over. Right. But it's one game that, that our people share. It's something like Hispanic. Right. Hispanic you never played chess. Like- yeah. Yeah. You fellas ever play chess or. Uh- yeah. Bruno's like, that's a game right there. <laughs> Uh, the problem is it's, it's more of a mental game, you know? you got, you got to be a little more intelligent. Which, I, which I'm not saying you, you're you not, but likely, based on statistics and skull you know, shape, you're probably not. You might actually dig it. It actually pits the blacks against the whites. <laughs> which is something I think you folks have probably been looking for for the last hundred years. Uh, you've been begging for it, huh? <laughs> Dominoes is our language. I mean, we, we, time, we, 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 I mean, yes, other black folk like myself, yes. The only time that you can get together and enjoy each other in good company. You know, it's about calling money, see who can come up with the funniest statement. Right, right. At the same time, okay. still strategizing like it's, you know what I'm saying, it's wonderful. I love it. It's relaxing to me. Mm-hmm. If but that's the rules for dominoes, you got to come up with the funniest statement and also strategize. <laughs> I guess you got to know your numbers good. Number two, <laughs> you got to know how fat your friend's wife is so you could pick on it. Uh, it's a it, domino sounds a lot like Monopoly, where it's like there probably is a standard set of rules, and, but every no one time you play, the, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you play the game, you got to make rules. Yeah. Uh, and shit talk. Lots of shit talk. Make that you got to say the funniest thing. Yeah. <laughs> admits that he was uncomfortable because there was more than one black in the room as opposed to you know the smoke the drinking the game then he has to admit that there is a problem that's why i say bruno block because he's only gonna let out what he want to let out gonna watch that hand okay final two clips here Their pussy finally. White girl invites Devon into her bedroom. Shows pussy. Shows pussy. <laughs> she just shows him. She goes, Look, you ever seen one that looks See white it? like this? Dude, I love fucking, um, like, um, uh, pussy. pussy. <laughs> what? When I like porn clips like that, I mean, obviously, most of them are going to be staged. You know, it's hard to find any amateur shit like that because then you'd probably be looking at some stuff you shouldn't be. Sure. But I, I love those clips where it's like, check it out. And the dude's like, oh, wow, a pussy. And the girl will be like, oh, uh, what are they called? Um, sex education. There's a, a word um, like, oh, female anatomy. OK. Um, I, I like those videos. I think that shit's hot. Where you're like an idiot and you get taught like, oh, that's a pussy. (laughs) Okay, good. (laughs) Good. Damn, she's setting the camera up and everything. (laughs) Holy shit. (laughs) She's ready for this motherfucker. (laughs) God damn. Uh, For folks, if if you can't (laughs) see this, it's like it looks like the start of uh, Brett Michaels and Pamela (laughs) Lee's sex tape. It absolutely does. Yeah. Uh. After hanging out with Devon for a while, we've gotten closer as friends. Where's your? I still have not seen it. it? I still have not seen his dick. (laughs) Devon and he's taking his shirt off. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my god. This is great, dude. This is like the perfect setup, and it's real amateur aesthetic. I love it. Hmm. Ice Cube knew what he was going for. This was all just to get this fucking white girl deflowered. Sure. Not seen it. There's so much fish. Devon is just like he's smooth in such a vulnerable way that I'm not used to. That it's like somewhat breathtaking. Put something to kind of represent me mm. over my heart. What the hell is it? Yeah, yeah like it just represents the passion I'm burning in my heart. My soul's on. <laughs> My soul's on fire because my people been oppressed and it's like <laughs> flames in my jeans. <laughs> uh, oh. 
<laughs> this guy is cool though. He definitely, uh, he reminds me of my recruiter. Um, shout out to Sergeant Smichael. Um, my recruiter, it was like super smooth. Like, like I witnessed it, but I mean, he used to tell me stories too. I mean, you can believe him or not, but he told me when he was in high school, like he would, uh, he would do some shit where like girls would want to hook up with him and he'd be like, well, I can't fuck you, but cause it's against my religion, but you could suck my dick. And he's like, I only got head for like a whole year. And I was like, damn, that's fucking G shit right there. And I feel <laughs> yeah. like, I feel like the Vaughn is on that level, you know? Yeah. It was my tattoo. It was, it was my soul's on fire. Let me show you something else though. Turn the camera yeah. off. Actually. No, keep it Actually, rolling. Leave it on. Let me hold it, though. <laughs> Let me hold it. <laughs> I like that POV shit. <laughs> it's going to be the thing in a couple of years. You'll see. Fire, and it's taking me as far as I'm going to go. Oh, she's touching it. She's touching the tattoo on his chest. Yeah, it's getting spicy, man. Oh, I, yeah, I'm getting, like, a little flustered here. Don't you wish Bruno kicked in the door right now? He goes, out, out. No. Oh, okay. I don't want that to happen at all. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> tattoo which was on his heart i mean it was really like he's offering me like it really did it almost felt like a gift like offering, here's a piece I love of it. my heart oh. like here's a piece of me Ugh. yeah he just gave you a piece of him yeah totally awesome uh. so all po poetic and everything that's cool though um i like learning from black people you know they get a lot of <laughs> pussy i hear <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have a conference on race relations and how we can learn things from each other. I sit down with a black guy and I go, so how do you get so much pussy? How do you fuck girls? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> White girl makes a profound speech is our last clip of the day. Oh, no. I really appreciate how helpful Devon has been in showing me around places I've never been and teaching me things that I wouldn't usually have the opportunity to learn. Well, how do you feel now? I feel cool now. It's more easy to talk to you versus you know, white man period. One of the biggest struggles was trying to attack this idea of the barrier, of the black and white wall. You know, trying to enter a world that isn't yours. I'm trying to enter something that's not mine, too. I'm trying to enter an uncharted territory. <laughs> and I'm realizing that perhaps we are just human beings. And I am just a girl. Finally. Or even more so, I'm just Rose. And everybody is just who they are. I'm just a girl. So anyway, I put it in Rose's ass the other day. So anyway, I popped her butthole, Jerry. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Black White Volume 5. Dude, uh, we got to try and get Rose on the show and get an update on how fucking much of Devon she could take down her yacker. I absolutely have feelers out to both her and Bruno. Okay. Yet to hear back yet. Um, I hope she doesn't listen to this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Uh, winners and losers. Uh, winner, obviously, Renee, black woman. Cause she made a friend, and uh, that woman was only mildly disgusted when she found out about her. And losers, as always, Carmen. Loser, Wait, Carmen, what? easy. Winner for me is the fucking white girl's tits. Yeah, they were solid. Actually, winner for me is tits in general on this on this episode because um, old woke white mom had a nice set of little little perkers on her. Sure, solid milkers all around. Perkers uh, too. <laughs> like normally they get real sagged when they're old like mm -hmm. that, but those things were standing straight the fuck up. Solid, solid. Uh, go to yourworstfriend.com. Follow us everywhere on Instagram and Twitter at worstfriendcast. Go to patreon.com slash worstfriendcast uh, where you can catch all the previous episodes of Black White and uh, everything else we've ever recorded entirely, excuse me, commercial free. Uh, yeah, it's a dollar a month. You can cancel at any time. So why not? Who knows? Um, you can't cancel before, though. We do. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. Uh, we have another season of Your Worst Friend going deeper coming out in May. Look out for that. Follow our other 
If you like our porn star interviews, follow our other account, YWF Going Deeper on Instagram. So follow it. I'm sure you can find a link tree somewhere on one of our accounts and just follow everything. Uh, all right. For your worst friend, I am Matt. I'm a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. I didn't get my race car. Race car. Race car. Did you get your race car? Hell no. I didn't get my race car. Race car. Race car. Did you get your race car? Homeboy, where you get your race car? Race car. Race car. Did you get your race car? White boy, what is a race car? Race car. Race car. Please don't believe the hype. Everything in the world ain't black and white. Everybody ain't a stereotype. Just because I look wrong, I'm about to do right. Do right.